Welcome to this lecture. In the last presentation, we completed dual and in this lecture we are going to study self-dual. Before starting self-dual, let us revise the dual first. We have to switch AND with OR and OR with AND. We have to switch 0 with 1 and 1 with zero and the final and most important point we have to keep the variables we have to keep the variables as it is so these are the three points that you should know in order to find out the dual of the given expression for any logical expression two times dual gives the same expression so this is a very important point that you should keep in your mind if you take the dual of the given logical expression two times you are going to get the same expression but in case of self dual you will get the same expression by one time dual so in normal expression we have to take two times dual in order to get the same expression but in case of self dual we have to take dual only one time to get the same expression we will see two examples depending upon these two statements first we will prove this statement then we will solve for self dual let's say our function is f and it is equal to a and b and c complement or a complement and b and c or a and b and c this is our function and uh, we will take dual two times and we will see if we have the same expression or not f dash is the function that we are going to have after taking the dual one time and uh, to take the dual we have to switch and with or and or with and and we have to keep the variables as it is so let's start with it a or b or c complement we are keeping the variables as it is and we are exchanging and and with or and uh, this or will now be written as and a complement or b or c and a or b or c so this is what we have when we take the dual one time again we are going to take the dual this is the second time we are going to take the dual we will follow the same steps we are going to keep the variables as it is this r will now be written as and this and will now be written as r b and c or a and b and c now you can see that f and f double prime are same so when you take the dual two times you are going to have the same expression this is proved now we will solve for self dual let's start the problem number two in which we will take the dual one time and we are going to have the same expression we will call the function g and it is equal to a and b or b and c or a and c so this is what we have and uh, we are going to take the dual only one time and let's see if we have the same expression or not g prime is equal to a or b and b or c and a or c now you will say g and g prime are not same i told you that one time dual will give us the same expression in case of self dual but here you will say they are not same because we have to convert this expression this obtained result in this form for this we have to use the boolean algebra and do some simplification so let's start by using the distributive law distributive law says x or y and z can be written as x or y and x or z this is something we already know from our boolean algebra lecture i'm going to use this property and uh, we will try to have this form of expression from this one so 
if I use the distributive law in this 2 then I can write B or A and C and A or C now again I will use the distributive law A and B I have A and A and C I have B and C or A and C or C. I have just opened the bracket and I have this result. We will further minimize it. A and A is definitely A, A and C, B and C, A and C and C is A and C. These two min terms are same and we know X or X is equal to X. So I will write A and B or B and C or A and C. Now you can see G prime is equal to G. A and B, A and B, B and C, B and C, A and C, A and C. So we have taken the dual only once and we have the same expression. So this is what we call as self-dual expression and it is very important topic sometimes you may have questions in your exam now there is one trick that I am going to share with you this is a very important trick if you have n variables if you have n variables and you want to find out the self dual for this n variables then how many self duals are possible if you have n variables and you are willing to find out the self dual then uh, we have 2 to the power 2 and again its power n minus 1 so this is a very important trick that you can use in your exam let's say the number of variables are 2 then n is equal to 2 and in this case the number of self dual expressions are equal to 2 to the power 2 here n is equal to 2 so we have 2 minus 1 if we solve this we have 2 to the power 2 and the power of 2 will be 2 minus 1 1 so we have 4 in total we are having 4 self dual expressions when the number of variables are 2 now what are the self dual expressions what are these four self dual expressions if I say a and B are the two variables if we are talking about two variables then the first self dual expression will be a if we take the dual of a we are going to have a which is same and if we take the dual of a complement we will have a complement in the same way B will give us B B complement will give us B complement so these are the four self dual expressions in case of two variables now this is all for this presentation you have one more trick in your bag you can use it in your competitive exams now this is the time for your homework let's move to the homework problems the first problem is to find out whether this given expression the function y a complement and B complement or B complement and C complement or A complement and C complement this function Y is self dual or not you have to find out and you have to answer in the comment section the second problem is to find out the number of self dual expressions by using this trick when the number of variables are 4 so these are the two homework problems in first one you have to check whether it is self dual expression or not and the second one you have to find out the number of self dual expressions please post your answers in the comment section this will help others this is all for this presentation see you in the next one